months ago, the biggest roller coaster conference of the year happened, IAPA. This is where manufacturers showcase new innovations, trains, layouts, or just additions in general. And I was lucky enough to go. IAPA usually tells us an enormous amount of information about the next year's additions, and 2023 is no different. And today, I'm explaining all the new information we got for 2023 since IAPA. Kind of like an update video for my original video. Link in the card. Anyway, subscribe. Okay, before I start explaining the information we learned since IAPA, I'm going to address some of the mistakes I made in my last video. Apparently, there's this park called Chessington World of Adventures in England that I had no idea existed that is getting a new insane wing coaster in 2023 called Jumanji. This coaster looks really good, as in unique. Thunderbird is pretty widely regarded as the best wing coaster in the US because of its powerful and unique launch. Well, Jumanji doesn't just have a launch, but it has a double upwards helix spike and it has a backward section. Oh, that's unheard of for a wing coaster. It doesn't have the longest layout for a wing coaster, but it looks to be so unique. Even though it's in England, I'm very excited to see how it turns out. And then I forgot a relocated family coaster coming to Niagara Amusement Park called SDC Galaxy. Big deal. I also said that Big Bear Mountain Coaster coming to Dollywood is going to be built by Premier Rides, but it's really going to be built by Vekoma. Same story with Luna, except I said that was going to be an Intamin instead of a Vekoma. Okay, as far as you guys have told me, these are the only mistakes I made in that video. So let's move on to the announcements since I have Actually, let's not. I need to talk about Wildcat's Revenge. I said in my original video, RMC Wildcat had not been announced, and this was true, but the Wildcat's Revenge announcement was a day later. I fully break it down in this video, link in the card right here. Okay, now under the IAPA announcements. Like I said before, a lot of trains for the 2023 coasters were revealed, so here are the noteworthy coasters that got train reveals. Wildcat's Revenge, Big Bear Mountain Coaster, Pipeline the Surf Coaster, Arctic Rescue, Zambezi Zinger, and Wild Mouse. None of these were really too groundbreaking except for the pipeline trains. They look completely different from any other trains. Other than that though, there wasn't really anything amazing or surprising. Like we knew how the Wildcat's Revenge trains would look from the animation. They're still way cooler in person though. Anyways, the juicy stuff we got were the POVs and announcement animations. First of all, we got a POV for Big Bear Mountain Coaster at Vekoma's booth, and I fully break it down, link in the card right here. To summarize though, it confirms it has a very, very long terrain layout, looking to have many airtime moments. We got another official POV at Vekoma's booth, this time the animation for Circuit Breaker coming to Kota Land. This looks amazing. Other than showing that it will open in 2024, the animation proves the community's assumption that Vekoma tilt coasters will have long and intense layouts to be true. It's everything BNM should have done with their dive coaster model, not just a drop and a bunch of weak elements following. I saw two unique inversions that will definitely do something. And that's just from the original animation. There could be so many more fruitful elements in this layout. Okay, that does it for the announcements. Let's address something that I definitely thought would be addressed at IAPA, the Dragster project. Rumors and leaks have it that Zamperla is working on the project instead of Intamin. So you'd expect a small up and coming company to try to send their change in business model message to the rest of the world to give us some sort of info on the announcement. But you would be wrong. They only displayed Wild Mouse's trains and a new Blitz model debuting in 2024. But that's for a different discussion. This either means Zamperla is early in the planning stages or they're not working on it all. We'll just have to see. Since IAPA, however, we have gotten some construction progress. I checked the progress in this card of Pipeline the Surf Coaster. The track actually looks done, which is great. I can see it opening in March or so. Probably the biggest update is that Airy Force 1 has officially started testing and the POV has been released. Such great progress. Well, that just does it for the IAPA and more updates. Inform me of anything I missed and make sure to watch my other 2023 coasters video if you haven't already. I'll hopefully see you later.